Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 4. I'm your host, the Game of Darius. Last we left off, we had just entered the Sandflyer Valley, which is like a graveyard for a bunch of sandflyers, which, according to the black market guy, is kind of bad, because sandflyers were a military vehicle back in the day. So, yeah, them knowing about them selling the parts here would kind of be bad. Uh, that said, I seem to now recollect that when a status and uh, actually, is she going to be affected by it after the combat now? Also, part of the me really wants to go back into town and buy shit. Nope, she is no longer affected by it. That said, I will use jellyfish. Because paranoia. Uh, now, there are items, as you can plainly see. Proctia. Eight of them. See, that's what I love this game about. It isn't just like, oh, hey. Perfect. Oh, hey. Here's a single Proctia. No, here's eight of them so that you can actually find use. Uh, I'm gonna... I want to get the Igu to cast the rest if it can, but unfortunately, I keep on killing the damn things. Oh well. We'll figure out what to do next, eventually. Now I'm gonna... Yeah, there we go. Grab what's in here. Now if I remember correctly, probably going to say that a lot this playthrough. But if I recall correctly, there is a couple of useful things here. Like items, gold. I keep on calling it gold. Zenny. It is called Zenny. Yes. 200 of it. Now I want to turn the thing back to the left. Do, 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 do. Oh, eh. Maybe I should keep auto walk auto walk on. Left. Left. Ah well. Scorpions! Dang it. Kind of hoping that was going to kill it, but then again, Tina's strong point is magic, so. There we go. Now, there's another mechanic that, is invol that involves heavily armored characters and monsters. But. Yeah. <laughs> ah, dang it. What else is even here? I'd like to find as much stuff as I can before I get into the actual plot, because A, that stuff is probably not going to be most any use the later I get into the game, such as if I get equipment here. Right, here we go. Level 6. Level 7. 7. It honestly kind of sucks leveling up this early in the game, because... Again, there's masters in this game, so if you end up leveling up, that's one last level that you can get, like, plus two more to this stat, that kind of crap. Hello? Yes. Oh! Activates the winch. Cool. Anything here? Oh, wait. Ladder. Gotta lead to goodies, right? Look at that. Fast Helm. Which I'm going to assume is going to be Darius's next thing because he is not able to wield it. 25 defense, 11 agility. I'm fine with that. I think since we've leveled, it's actually become, uh, Darius has just become a lot faster. Which is good, because I like getting the initiative when it comes to fighting stuff. 
All right. So I'll be honest, this next part, I don't want to screw up. So I'm going to look up a thing really quick. So beep, beep. So sadly, I can't seem to find a proper map for this next part, which kind of sucks. But hey, I do know what the hell to be found here. So it's not like I'm going to go in blind and not know, hey, I missed out this thing and that thing and the other thing. Why, hello, guy. Don't get many folks out here. Ain't nothing much here except for odds and ends. What can I do for you? Hmm, I see. Looking for parts, eh? Well, I suppose you might be able to find what you'll need here. If you're looking for that, there's plenty of it here. Parts you're looking for are all buried in the sand. You're gonna need a shovel to dig them out. If you need a dog that can scent them out, you might be able to find what you're looking for. I'm loaning you my shovel and my dog for 25 zenny each. Yeah, and then this is the tormentuous part because I... I know there was a map on the internet somewhere. Alright, so with that, we're going to go ahead and just try with a shovel. Because I'm cocky. That'll be 25 zenny then. Thank you kindly. Good luck to you. So there's three items we want here. And unfortunately we get a limited amount of time I think to play. Press X to use the shovel to dig a hole where you're standing. However, the shovel will break after it's used a certain number of times. If it hits metal, it will weaken and break more easily, so be careful. Remember where the dog stops and knows where items are buried. You want to read them again? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, so it's not a limited amount of times, it's just a limited amount of... Yeah. Right here? Nothing. I've been lied to. Right. Ah, curse the diagonal planes. Here. Yes! Found a glass shard. Don't know why that's important, but hey, it's a thing. Don't break, don't break, don't break. Found a flat top. And I want to say right here is the actual ship parts. You found ship parts. Unfortunately, that's the end as the shovel then breaks. Curses. Your shovel broke, did it? Well, dims the brakes. <laughs> if he needs me, know where to find me. So... Dude just kind of has more and more shovels. Kind of annoying. And rented out a shovel and all that fun stuff. But, at the least, let's go ahead and take a look at the stuff that we just found. So we got a glass shard that can, can be used to make armor. Okay, that's not annoying in the slightest. Uh, water source. Ship parts. Right. What's the flat top? Oh, the flat top was this. Okay. Okay. So, when you come, you can come back here and you can find more stuff. I'm not sure exactly how much of it repeats or regenerates or whatever. So, yeah. Now, let's go ahead on back. Out, and we can't just jump to Dune Town. That'd be silly and dangerous. Why would we possibly want to do that? Let's just get out of here as fast as we can then. Oh, hey! First time we found three in a row. Why don't we go ahead and use a good old Firewind? Yep. This will, this will actually help out with combos, too, because I think each time it hits, like, twice. Okay. <laughs> Combo 4, though, is still not that bad. 
comparatively. No, compared to nothing. And I ma managed to make my money back from just those three alone, so... That's also good. That thing go back up. Ah, dang it. Ooh, another three. I kind of like the fact that it is throwing more enemies at me for the sheer purpose of being able to burn them alive. There we go. Not such a chore. Hey, maybe I can actually go back and buy some of the equipment that was in the uh, shop for Darius. That'd be actually great. That said, definitely try to rest up beforehand. Just seems like a good idea. Once we take these parts to that shop and have them fixed, finally be able to get back to where my friend is waiting. Thank you so much for your help, Darius. And then Darius will be left all alone in the miserable desert for the rest of his life. Miserable. But, that's all here and there, you know, no worries about it. Just gotta... Keep a stiff upper lip and move on. I'll miss you, Nina. So we gotta go back to the tavern now. Uh, hi, guy. You got anything, uh, armor y? I mean, uh, no, nope. Don't need it. Don't need it right now. Just... It's only like a point or two. That's the thing, too. Not a whole lot. Don't be afraid. I just want some information, that's all. I want you to tell me all about the monster you say you saw. Heh. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to tell you. Pfft. <laughs> Well, I tried to be a little more cooperative if I were you. Otherwise, things might get a little uncomfortable. And we wouldn't want that now, would we? What do you think you're doing? Why are you doing this? I thought the war was supposed to be over. Why? Because I don't like people trying to hide things. Besides, the war is not over. There's been a ceasefire called. That's all. Do you understand the difference, Missy? Wait. You're a Windian. Well, well. If it isn't the little princess. We were sent out to find a dragon, but we found a little bird instead. Grab her, men. No reason we shouldn't take her as well. Wait! Do you know something about my sister? By the power granted me, I command thee. Warrior spirit, thou art summoned. Go. I want you to capture that girl. Be careful not to hurt her. Too much. Oh, sweet Jesus, I hate almost everything about this empire, just so you guys know. This is Joe. Everyone say hi, Joe. One of Rasso's fighters has a poor sense of balance. Balance, eh? Bet some wind will knock him off of his, uh... I was gonna say feet, but he doesn't appear to have any. Burn? Oh, no, that hurts. Ow. Just uh, keep on hitting it with that wind while I sit up on top of those stairs. At least the wind is doing a good amount of damage. Might be because of that sage staff I had bought. I did buy it, right? 
That's why I... I don't really got encrypted. Yeah, I have to have it encrypted. Yeah, got it encrypted. And yes, you can use the stuff that you have equipped. So it's not like you have to swap out every single time that you use an object. Which a good old protect might be useful, Mr. I'm wielding a keen sword. Ooh, nice parry. Keep on hitting him with a Siva. Joe is thinking of what to do next. Joe is not too smart. Well. Routed him. Freaking straight up destroyed him. I am... I'm like a whole level behind you, Nina. What the heck? That's a Marum, though. Ah, you're stronger than you look. Paul, oh, what's this? A dashing knight come to save the princess? How gallant. You know it's a knight's job to protect his lady, don't you? Where have you been all this time? Afraid hiding in some closet or... How dare you! You filthy little... Let's get out of here. What are you just standing around for? After them! Well, I don't think we're welcome back in Sarai anytime soon. Can't go in here now, you gotta get away. <laughs> yep, that sounds about right. Oh, okay. Imperial troopers are here too? What are we gonna do? We can't go back and we can't go on either. Wait. Hey, you there. Said they was gonna try to cut you off. Went on up ahead. Luckily you didn't get yourselves caught. Yes, still. Cut off our way out of here. Hmm, got a point there. Tell you what, seeing as you all helped me out back there, I want to try and return the favor. Let me see. Maybe if you took that road, you could get past him. Yeah, that's it. You can get to the desert that way. I mean, there's another road? Well, it's kind of out of the way, but if you head north, you go up to this big town called Chamba, you can get to the desert that way. Really? Oh, thank you. That means I can get back to where my friend is waiting. We'll try that route you mentioned. Thank you again so much. No problem. Just keep your head low and try not to get caught, eh? Hey, look at that. Not everyone in this game has come back. <laughs> That's a little mean. Well, then again, Rosso is kind of a... Hmm. Words. Chamba, huh? That's still pretty far from where Cray is staying right now, but if it's safer to go Chamba, then Hmm. I thought this town was bigger than this. Let's see if we can find someone who can help us. Sounds like a plan. Maybe someone who actually has uh Ooh. Live sandals. I forget what live sandals do. I know they're useful. Because they're sandals. Increases the resistance to status changing attacks. It might actually be better for you, Nina. Because we don't want her to get silenced. I mean, a person that's blind can eventually hit something. But a person that's silenced, no spell casting whatsoever? Yeah, that's useless. Ah. 
There, walk past it. That's a creepy looking bird, I just want to say. Very perturbed dog. Oh, hey, dude. Everyone's out at work and they have left me to keep an eye on things. Are you looking for something? I'm going to say sorry because I stuck with accents. <laughs> That said, apparently my bowie knife is better than the broken sword, which the king sword is now. Well, rip that protect ability, huh? I wonder if I can use one of these beds. Oh yeah, I can. Cool. That's nice to be able to do. You know, rest in the bed, save. Ain't calling it up so just yet. Gotta figure out how the hell we're going to escape from that rascal Rasso. <laughs> I say Rasso, but uh, rascal, but he's much more of a jerk. If you want to sleep, I can let you use one of these beds. Yep, already did that, sir. Thank you, though. Thank you. Uh, oh, there is these lads and lasses. Hi, Gramps is Smith. He makes armor. I'm studying under him so I can take the take over the business someday. Make armor? And who may you be? Hello there, um I was wondering this is Chamba, isn't it? Eh? What kind of question is that? Of course this is Chamba. Well, part of it at least. Most of the town is still polluted by the hex. Can't be used. Hex? You've heard about how towns all over the place were hexed during the war, haven't you? Um, yes. I guess so. All you need to know is that ordinary folks like you can't go anywhere near some place that's been hexed. Too dangerous. If you need to go to Chamba for something, you'll have to wait until the hex is gone and... Hmm? Oh, looks like everyone's come back. All right, everyone. That's it for today. Got another early start tomorrow. So make sure you get some sleep. All right, I'll get out of here. Those folks that just came back are a group of purifiers. You go from town to town purifying them of hexes. So if we want to find out more about the hex, we should ask them, right? Thank you for your help. Well, I guess I know what we're doing next. Going around and asking people, hey, what's up with the hex? Oh man, I ain't gonna lie, this place looks cozy as balls, but it might also just be because of what's on the, on the fire over there. Well now, we don't get many visitors here. I'm the leader of this bunch. My name's Tab. We're just about to sit down to supper. Whoever it is, it'll have to wait until after that. Well, we'll go explore then. Hmm? Wanna wait here? By me, by me, but if I were you... I'd walk around... Rather walk around town or something than watch a bunch of people eat. Alright, we'll go explore. Well, there's not much to see. But there's no harm in looking around for yourselves, eh? See that fellow over there? In front of the pot? That's our boss, Tab. Yep, nice fella. That armor we wear to protect us from the hex is really heavy. Walking around in it all day makes you real hungry. Eh, uh, I don't feel so good. Maybe the hex got to me. What's the hex, you might say? Something really, really hecking bad. Man, now this place just looks more populated. Hi, guy. Making places like this that have been populated by a hex livable again is what we do for a living. We're never short of work. A lot of places were hexed during the last war. Well now, what brings someone like you to a place like this? Escape. I don't think I've ever seen a place worse than this. No kidding. 
mist is so thick you can barely see where you're going. I wonder if there's anyone else to talk to in the house now. You know, seeing as we just came back and whatnot. This ain't a place for women and children. Don't you know it's being hexed? Oh, that's a little sexist. Also, loot. Nearly missed out on Panaceus. The hex the Empire makes is like this black mist. There's all sorts of nasty stuff, like wraiths and specters inside of it. Even the smallest exposure to it without protection is lethal. Well, yeah, I figure it. The hex is like someone talking bad about you. I mean, when someone says something bad, you don't feel too good, right? So a hex is like that, except a lot more powerful, see? I mean, I guess that's a, that's a weird way to put it. But that's, that's a way to put it. Hmm. I think you are one of the last ones I need to talk to. Unless I just need to talk to Tab again. Well, I'll do that in the next episode. When we return, we gotta try to get through Chamba. But unfortunately, Chamba has suffered something called being hexed. So, naturally, of course we have to go through the terrible things. Uh, maybe one of these pe fine people can lead us through. Who knows? <laughs> Thank you all so very much for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.